Day four, we went to Pyramid Creek. This was actually not a very hard day because it was uh, split up. And we knew we were going to meet Ben's parents for lunch and they were going to bring some awesome food. And we were going to get some food, pick up some food at the ranger. Uh, so we station. met them at Longmire, which is a, kind of a main visitor center right there. And after we had lunch, we moved on um, the last, I think, three or four miles to Pyramid Creek right there. Mm. So we got, we got an early start. The kids were all excited. Yeah, that's just the beginning of the day. Um, so the kids, like this was a regular meal pattern where we'd put the pot in the middle of them and they would give them two, maybe three spoons, but they'd have to share. So it was good for them. This is, uh, the Williams took this picture of us, that family of 12 that we met before we left. Quite a few families actually wanted to take pictures of us. I think they thought we were kind of an anomaly. They'd say things like, oh, man, when, when my friends back home hear that uh, there was a two-year-old doing it, then they're going to you know, be ashamed that they didn't do it mm -hmm. because they gave me some sorry excuse or something like that. Or they're like, this is motivation. Man, we can do it. So here's a sign. You can see at the very bottom, the long mire is 1.7 miles. So we were really excited to make it there because this mm -hmm. is where all of our food was. And we picked up food that we had uh, dropped off ahead of time. And we had battery chargers and fuel, extra food, mm. frappuccinos. And frappuccinos. This is where we met my parents who had a feast for us, a shrimp noodle salad and all mm -hmm. sorts of fresh fruits and vegetables. It was awesome. The kids loved it. And we took the kids to the store, mm -hmm. and they each bought a pack of candy. I think this is the first time in their life they ever bought a whole pack of candy, like these king size candy, <laughs> for each of them. <laughs> and they consumed it virtually on the spot. Actually, they saved it for a while. They were pretty good about it, but they were yeah. really excited. I've got ice cream, so she had to eat hers right away. This is inside the visitor center. We are showing my dad just a map of where we had come. You can see the entire Wonderland Trail on a 3D map there. Um, the hills that are thousands of feet high are only three inches high and they don't look very intimidating mm -hmm. or difficult, but, uh, but they, they are. are. So at this visitor center, we changed our itinerary because, um, Lindsay, who was with us, uh, decided not to go any further. So we were down a person on our team. So we kind of had to rearrange some of our materials and we got rid of one of the tents and a bunch of cooking supplies and we added a day to our itinerary which we came to do a few more times. We actually changed our itinerary quite a bit, which uh, you have to change it in the reservation system just to make sure there's room at each campsite. Mm -hmm. But at this point, we added a day. And this is us getting ready to head out on the trail again. And Papa and Hominy, that's what they call kids call them, my mom, uh, helped us out quite a bit and carried the packs um, and helped with the kids. And this is a picture of us leaving i'm not sure where this is i think this is longmire still and that's my parents who met us on the trail okay. and this is seven uh who's trying to carry my pack because we were splitting up the oreos and he was saying it's not fair because the adults get three oreos and the kids get two so i said well if you want to carry my 45 pound pack then i'll give you three oreos and of course he didn't make it very far but maybe he uh understood a little bit more why we get three oreos but probably not Dove, Dove took this picture of me. This is a picture she took of me at Pyramid Creek. This is our campsite. And you can tell there's moss all over the uh, rocks. Oh, and uh, at the visitor center, when we changed our itinerary, that was where we met Sarah, who is a park ranger. And she's uh, one of the people that actually um, we met at, um, at Pyramid Creek again the next day. So this is day five, and we woke up and... We had a really short day, a two-mile day planned, but I, I ran into Sarah in the morning uh, at Pyramid Creek, and she offered to let us stay at the Indian Henry Cabin, which was an extra mile, but it was totally going to be worth it because it had rained the night before, as you'll see in our video, and we were going to be able to stay in a cabin. So here's a video. All right, how was it sleeping in the tent last night? Um, Dad, I kept, Dad and Mama kept picking me in the 
Okay. And Eden kept taking stuff. Um, he kept taking me. Um, that Sherry got to give me. Too crowded. <laughs> and it was too crowded, but we made it work. Um, Ben woke me up and said, I, like, I, like I think it's raining. It was raining. And I was like, oh, no. So him and I scrambled outside and scrambled to get the rain fly on and all the stuff under the tent or in garbage bags. And it was nuts. And it didn't even rain. Hmm. What time? Oh, and we had to get Devin Eden into the tent. What time was that? 3 a.m. So at 3 a.m., we all make a mad rush into the tent, and this is the first day that all six of us got to sleep in the tent together. And as you can imagine, it was a two man tent, so it was actually pretty crowded. And as the kids mentioned, everyone is kicking each other in the face. Um, and but interestingly enough, I actually, we slept better in that than we did at the cabins. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, actually. This is memory. Um, as you can see, the toilet facilities are actually quite primitive there. <laughs> this is another one of the uh, many, many log bridges that we took across a uh, little stream or creek or river or whatever it was. So this day was really beautiful. We we went through these amazing fields, and it was really foggy. It didn't rain too much. Um, it was wet since the second we woke up. There was a lot of water on the grasses that got your feet wet. Memory walked the entire day today. It was three miles. So she did it all. It was pretty awesome. Um, and these fields were just covered in flowers. Uh, I think we have Big mist, and we're walking through these fields of wild flowers. You can see all the kids in a little line up here. And we can't see more than a hundred yards ahead. But it's beautiful and it's not hot. And there's no mosquitoes anymore because uh, the weather. Oh, and look at look at those wild flowers. Those are so cool. All right. Oh, we got a bridge up here. Just memory, you can see we're all wearing our rain gear that we didn't really think we'd need, but we bought because all the books tell you to be prepared for rain. But we were like, mm -hmm. it's the middle of summer, why would we need rain gear? We had no idea. But you actually in comes in really handy. Here's Gorgeous. Another picture of the mist. And uh, Seven mm -hmm. out there with his rain gear. These are some guys from Texas that we met, uh, Ivan and Larry. And we kept in touch with them afterwards. They made it about 30 miles, and then they quit. I think Ivan says he's going to do it again next year, so we're, we're hoping that they get to do it. Um, they didn't look like they had been exposed to very very much uh, northwest weather <laughs> or uh, hiking conditions. And this is the cabin that we stayed at. It was awesome. It was, the setting was just unbelievable. Okay, this is a tour of our accommodations for tonight. We are staying at... Indian Henry's Ranger Station. And here we got the kids. And we have our cheddar potato soup. Water being boiled right here. And we got this view. Check this view out. We are overlooking a green wildflowery meadow. And uh of course, us Crawfords, we take our shoes off here, so we've already swept this place out. And uh, it's a little dark in here. This place actually has tables. And seven's over there. <clears throat> we just saw a deer walking around. And on a clear day, you can see the summit of Rainier from the back door. So we're going to be staying with Sarah, the park ranger, who let us stay at her place. What do you guys think about this cabin? It's awesome. And we're going to continue on with the cabin in the next video clip.